everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm going to be showing you a more advanced uh, or a totally new version of the account checker from the previous video. Um, this will probably be in two parts because it's kind of long and I've got a restriction to my channel where I can't upload longer videos. Um, so I'll try and keep this to 10 minutes. Uh, so basically, before we use the web browser for the account checking part. Uh, I'm actually going to create a new form for this altogether because uh, we're going to not be using the web browser anymore. Um, so if you're watching just from this video, uh, there's no need to create a new form, just stay on the one you are. Uh, and let me add in a few things real quick. So we want a button and two list box real quick. And I'll explain what these are for later on. So let me just get this sort of little mini design set up real quick. Uh, add this button here. Uh, uh, and we quickly need two more. So what this button here is going to do is import a list. So we can call this import users. And this button here is going to be called save output. Uh, this button here we can call start check-in and this one will be stop check-in like that uh, we'll probably need more buttons and more things for this along the way but we'll add those when we get there uh, so for this video I'll show you the basics of getting this thing set up and working uh, so we'll just start the check-in right away so inside here what we want to do is use or trigger our work at the start because we're actually going to be using a background worker so you want to add a background worker in real quick uh, I actually use this method from someone else uh, I thought it was pretty nice using the background worker for this uh, so I sort of adapted his method and made it my own so it's pretty good using this so you want to use that so in our start checking thing here we want to say background worker one dot run worker async and that will start it for us um, but obviously that's just going to start it we would sort of want to check in place to see if uh, there's any users or not because if, the, if there isn't any users then we don't want to start it so we can just say uh, let's remove that we can say if listbox1 dot items dot count is equal to zero so we're pretty much saying if there is zero uh, input in the list box and it's empty so we can display a message box uh, and inside this message box we can just say please load some accounts um, like that so we don't want it to start and we can say else if there is accounts then we'll then we'll start it so we can say background worker one dot run worker async like that and that's just got a little check in place which will stop it from doing nothing uh, so that'll be for that. Now we actually want to give our background worker some code. Uh, we actually want it to do something, obviously. Um, so inside this code, what we can do is because what we want it to do is that when this program's working, there's going to be a list of users here on the left. So we want to grab each user individually, one by one, down the list, and do something for the individual users. So the way we do that is we can say, or well, we can use a for loop to go or get every user, we can say for i is equal to 0 to listbox1 dot items dot count uh, is equal to minus 1 like that and then inside here we can uh, actually let me just we don't want the equals there uh, and we can put a space there like that we can say well we want to get a function so we can call this grab name inside this function and we also need another one for checking the account like that and we could also have another if statement saying if i is equal to listbox one dot items dot count minus one again so it's actually reached the end then we can display a message box inside here uh, message box dot show uh, all accounts were checked and I'll explain to you what this does in a second when I'm complete uh, so that is actually it complete so what this worker does is 
for each item inside our list box it's going to grab the name of the item and it's also going to check the account and the actual check account is going to use in the name this is why we need both and then it, we're just saying if we've reached the end display a message letting them know we've reached the end uh, so there's no more to check uh, so we actually want to create these two functions here so we can come underneath this uh, sub here and say public sub grab name uh, we want a parameter here i as integer and inside this function what we want to do is uh, actually make uh, a variable dim all accounts as a string <coughs> and that will be equal to list box pun dot items dot item so we can actually select the item we want but in this case we're not selecting a specific one we want to get the i because that will grab each one uh, from our for loop if you remember which we just created up here now underneath here we want another string uh, we can call this u name for short for username uh, and that'll be a string as well and that'll be equal to all accounts which we just made dot two lower um, just so we can lower the accounts so there's no caps or anything uh, and then underneath here we actually need let's create a global string so we can actually access this string throughout uh, different functions and we can call this user to check uh, let me just put capital C there for OCD sake and that will be uh, as a string so we can actually use this we want this as a global uh, string so we can use it throughout different functions because we'll give it a value here we can say user to check is equal to u name so when this function gets called uh, this is getting an error here because we need to uh, just put i there um, so pretty much when this function gets called for each user it's grabbing the account from the list box and then it's lowering it and then it's setting it to the user to check and we're actually going to be using user to check on the end of our links uh, to complete it if you remember from last time we used just a text box uh, so now we need to make the check account function so public sub check account uh, no parameters here let me just fix that public sub now inside here what we want to do if you've probably watched my videos before uh, you see that I like to use this method a lot from the auth system and things uh, but we're just going to be using uh, HTTP web request to get the source code it's much quicker than using the web browser too so there's no reason why we shouldn't use it uh, so we want to say dim request as system dot net dot HTTP web request and that's going to be equal to a system dot net dot HT web request dot create and now we actually want to navigate to our link so uh, for this example I'll be showing you how to use Twitter so twitter dot com forward slash plus instead of using the text box now we just want to use user to check like so and that will complete our link that's why we create the global one so we could use it here now underneath here we need to get the response to this so dim response uh, e as system dot net dot http web response and that is going to be equal to request dot get response like that now underneath here we want to create a reader to read our page source code of our page that we're grabbing so dim s reader uh, so we want to edit as this a new stream reader system.io.streamreader and that's going to be equal to a new uh, system.io.streamreader response.getresponse where's that gone? get response stream, there we go so that should be good now underneath here we want to say dim uh, let's say twitter 
results as a string and that is going to be equal to our s reader dot read to end so I'll explain what this is doing for the people that don't know what this is doing so we're requesting a link this link it will be like be in our username from the list from this list um, it's getting the response it's basically reading the page and now we created this Twitter result string. We can actually, uh, because we set it to read all of it, we can use it now. So we can say, uh, if the Twitter result dot contains, and now we get to select. If you remember, in here, our old one, we checked for. Sorry, this page doesn't exist. Uh, account suspended and tweets. So let's just go with account suspended. Um, just for me to show in you sake uh, just put that in there then what we want to do is we actually want to create some functions again so if, if it's suspended we want a function for add suspended because we can use this throughout um, I'll explain that after this so we can say public sub add Sus. Uh, what's happened here? Add suspended, and inside here, what we want to do is say list box two. Now, because we've got uh, a hit, basically, it's got the answer. We want to add it to the list box two, which is our output. So list box two dot items dot add. And then inside here, what we want to add is the user to check. Uh, so we want to display the username and uh, we'll give it a string. Let's leave a space and that will be equal to suspended because that's what this function is doing. Suspended like that. And underneath here, we want to just reset the user to check because we're done with this one now. So that will be equal to nothing like so. Uh, also, we sometimes get an error because it's using a different thread. So we can just say check, uh, check for illegal cross threads, and that'll be equal to false, like that. Now we can call that suspended function. You, what you want to do is uh, get this function here, and oops, I didn't mean to delete that. You'll copy it, and you can paste it a few times. And instead of suspended, you'll change that to available like that and you'll just change the suspended here to available um, and you could make this one to let's say banned um, so you could have many accounts many different websites that have different types and you'll just call these functions whenever it's suitable for you um, so we'll give this a test now because the names uh, some of these I just want to put a banned one in a suspended one so we'll leave that like that and actually I didn't show you the import I'll show you that next time um, so let me just create a button for you to show you this uh, this button will be removed you don't need to add this list box one dot items dot add this is just for me to show you a suspended account so we could just add in here Azealia Banks because I know that's a uh, a band account so let's load this up oops because it's a new form I actually need to change the startup form now let's start that up so I'll add the account uh, obviously we'll have an old list I'll show you that next time and I want to press start checking and what that will do is you can see all accounts were checked obviously there's only one but it says Azealia Banks is equal to suspended so that's how this thing's going to work uh, so that's it for part one um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time